Happening today, two more suspects in the case of 13-year-old Jeremiah Valencia's murder are scheduled to be in court. It's a disturbing case we've been following since the story broke this morning. We're also learning more about Jeremiah's mother and her frequent jail stays. News 13's Fernanda Lopez is here with the new details. Good morning, Fernanda. Good morning, Crystal and David. Today, Tracy Pena, the boy's mom, and 19 year old Jordan Nunez are set to go before a judge who could decide whether to keep the two locked up pending trial. Yesterday was Thomas Ferguson's turn, Nunez's father. He's accused in the beating and death of Jeremiah Valencia. Investigators say Ferguson would keep Jeremiah locked up in a dog crate at their Nambe home. His body was found last week buried alongside a state road near Nambe. Now, investigators believe he had been there since November. Yesterday, prosecutors and defense attorneys agreed before Ferguson's hearing he would remain in jail until further notice. Prosecutors citing his violent criminal history, his defense acknowledging he violated his probation. This afternoon, a judge will weigh whether Pena and Nunez can be released. New this morning, according to jail records, Pena has been booked into the Santa Fe County Jail 22 times since 2009. Most of her arrests were for failure to appear, failure to comply, probation violations, drug charges, and shoplifting. Now, I went through each of her bookings. Most of her jail stays only lasted a few hours to a few days. Court records show it was during her latest jail stay that she told another inmate her son was murdered. That inmate alerted deputies, which prompted the investigation into the teen. Whereabouts. Crystal? All right. Thanks for the new information, Fernanda. Now, those court hearings scheduled for this afternoon, we of course will be there. We'll update you throughout the day. Our full coverage continues online at krqe.com.